not have to pay for a covered repair again. This is the auto coverage now sweeping across America at a fraction of what dealerships charge and is now available to the public by calling today. The number to call is 800-547-5262. 800-547-5262. That's 800-547-5262. Chuck Lander here and talk back. I want to go to my guest, Stephen A. Camaroto, Director of Research for the Center for Immigration Studies. Stephen, thank you very much for coming on and glad to have you with me. Thanks for having me back. You know, you're a busy man. Uh, you were just recently on Fox talking about that Harvard uh, graduate who was an illegal alien and and I guess they figure if you sneak your way through 12 years and four years plus, uh, then uh, you should get all these extra benefits, even though you were a sneaky poo there. Uh, anyway, well, I they said in that interview, yeah, the chances of him actually ever being made to go home are very tiny. And even if he had been ordered to be deported, the chances of him actually leaving the country were very small as well. Remember, I think the latest figure is about 700,000 people have been ordered deported in recent years who uh, we never followed up on. So just because somebody is illegally here and a judge orders them mm -hmm. deported doesn't mean they actually have to go. Well, I, and I'll tell you something. There was another story I didn't get to today. I don't know if you saw it or not, and I know we're going to get to your subject here about how great the Golden State is in education. But this uh, federal judge has just rebuked the government today for prosecuting a Department of Homeland Security official who employed an illegal immigrant as her housekeeper. Remember that story? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so now he says uh, he's upset because they actually detained her for a couple of hours, and uh, he says, this is just a cleaning lady, you know. Now, she was the one that was supposed to be deporting them, not hiring them. That's what the, the Globe newspaper said. Henderson was the lady's name, uh, and I'm trying to find the, the lady from uh, Woodlock said Henderson, who is suspended from her $140,000 a year helping to keep New England's key ports secure from illegal aliens. Yeah, that was the lady that did it. And then one other story, Stephen. What, have you seen the video here with Senator John Kyle? That just I'm not came sure out which one you're referring to. I'm not sure what you're referring to. He was at a town hall meeting, and he came out and said that he had a private conversation with President Obama. There were other people there. They got them out of the office, and it was he and President Obama. And President Obama told him that the problem is if we secure the border then you all, speaking of Republicans, then you all won't have a reason to support comprehensive immigration reform. Kyle said, in other words, they're holding it hostage. Right, well, that means, but, but in fairness, wait, 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 you say, can you believe that? Explicitly for several years <laughs> now, they have said the only way they're going to enforce the law is if we legalize everyone here first and mm -hmm. then enforce the law. So that's essentially what they're saying. That, and, and, you know, that's the promise. Uh, now, you have... To, but the debate's always been, can you even believe that promise? Yes. <laughs> but the reason I think the public isn't going for it in overwhelming numbers is they don't believe the promise, and they're also kind of upset by exactly what you're pointing to. You mean to say that you are holding the enforcement of the law hostage mm -hmm. to an amnesty. And that's, of course, exactly what they've been doing for years. But, but I think that when you have it that, I guess, that starkly put to you, it seems surprising. But it really shouldn't be surprising to anyone who follows the issue. Well, they had two denials come out of office today, I guess, and one was that, no, uh, Emmanuel's not going to resign. That's ridiculous. And the other one is it's ridiculous that he said we're going to hold you hostage until you vote for comprehensive in immigration. So I well, we're holding Joe Wilson. <laughs> yeah. No, but clearly yeah. that's the idea. I mean, there's, the, the, you know, there, there's, we, we're not allowed to speculate or say, oh, I wonder what, <laughs> wish I was a fly on the wall. That's explicitly the deal, because the idea is, look, we're going to actually go after the employers, we're going to control the border, we're going to, you know, check people out in, in prisons and, and jails to see if they're illegal. All these things that people put into an enforcement bill, and of course, any common sense person would say, well, why aren't you doing all this stuff now? A lot yes. of the, you're not even enforcing the laws on the books now. <laughs> um, and they're like, you're right, but we will once yeah. we get the amnesty. So in effect, this is already known, and it's been known for a couple of years, maybe what this conversation is reminds us just how, you know, what, what's the right word here? Sneaky? Yeah, I don't know if the word sneaky, <laughs> maybe that's the right word. Just how, um, 
you know, dishonest the whole debate is. Well, I know what you're looking for. It's how non-transparent this administration is. That might be the nice way to yeah, put it. Yeah, but in it, fairness, yeah. except at the end of the last uh, administration, the Bush administration, there really wasn't much enforcement either. Now, it's true under um, under the, um, oh, her name, Julia, the name just went out of my head, um, but who headed the... Uh, uh, ICE at the end. Yes, for about a year and a half there was significant mm -hmm. enforcement of immigration laws, but really for the first seven years of the administration there oh, was yeah, very yeah. little. And Bush definitely, you know, he yeah, was I mean, for Bush. amnesty guy, yeah, you know. And Clinton he, actually said the same thing. He wasn't going to be enforcing the law at all unless there was an amnesty. So you had eight years of that. Well, so it's been going on a long uh, time. Up to our break here, Stephen, and then we're going we're gonna to talk about uh, California is now the least educated state. And boy, what a story this is. Uh, if you're in the Golden State, you, you probably already had suspicions, but how suspicious were you as far as your ratings and education? My goodness. Wait until you hear this excellent report from Stephen Camerata. He is the Director of Research for the Center for Immigration Studies. Be right back. What's happening this week on the Great American Outdoor Trails Radio Magazine with Jim and Trent. North American fisherman's host Steve Panaz, aquatic ecologist John Roethlisberger, Jimmy Big Time Cat Daddy.